Every six months, different units deploy on Operation Tosca, providing a peacekeeping force across the Cyprus buffer zone. Reservists and regulars, sappers, loggies, Remi, there have been many different cat badges over the years. But now, for the first time in over a decade, regular infantry soldiers are back on patrol. The 1st Battalion at the Irish Guards deployed in April to represent the British contingent of the UN mission and they've been joined by reservists from the London Regiment. What's unique about this deployment is the fact they're not just working alongside one another, they're fully integrated. It's the first time the new Army 2020 model has been put into practice on operations. The thing that's happened for us is that we're now in the new Army 2020 structure. We're a light role infantry battalion in the adaptive force. That means that every um, third rifle platoon in our rifle companies should be found by the reserves, and that's what we've got here. We're paired with the London Regiment, and we have got a platoon of the London Regiment in my operations company, which is responsible for patrolling the buffer zone, um, and you know, we're doing that, that integration with them at that level. This regular and reservist integration is being watched closely. The Deputy Commander Land Forces Reserves, Major General Munro, has been to see how they're working together. I think the really important thing here is Army 2020 is a journey. It's Army 2020, it's not 2015, 2016. So we are on a journey uh, and we are at the start of that journey. And actually what I've seen is, uh, I think, bodes well for the future. I think it's going really well. Uh, the Irish Guards have been extremely welcoming to uh, the Londons and other cat badges. Of course there are lessons to be learned in terms of how long the deployment should be, how much integration before they deployed here. And what I'm seeing on the ground bodes well for the future. The force commander of the UN mission in Cyprus, Major General Liu, has also been learning more about the battalion. They brought many of their weapons and equipment with them to show their capabilities. But the reality of their role is very different. Unlike Herrick 13, 16 or 18 when some of these personnel deployed, this is a tour of diplomacy and patience. They have to monitor the Greek Cypriot and Turkish Cypriot forces on either side. And this is a year when tensions could be running high. 2014 is a very significant year to be part of the UN here in Cyprus. The Irish Guards have arrived at a time when the mission is marking its 50th anniversary. And in July this year, it will be 40 years since the island was divided. Talks between the two sides resumed a few months ago, and they remain in the spotlight. So it's an important time to be a peacekeeper on Ireland. Uh, my role is I patrol the centre AO. We're actually standing on the edge of my AO that I patrol. Uh, we go, do foot patrols, vehicle patrols, he, uh, patrols by helicopter, and it's just to make sure the positions that we check uh, aren't overmanned or being built up on any areas at all. The whole platoon is just reserves, so we're basically a bolt-on, but we do exactly the same role that they would do. There's quite a bit of banter, obviously, because the Irish Guards are proud of their heritage, and it's taken time, but the integration's gone well. Deployed out here, mixing regulars and reservists together, there are many challenges and undoubtedly lessons to learn. But for now, they're settling into their new role, ready for whatever the summer has in store. Carla Prater, Forces News, Nicosia.